Hello everyone, this is Prashant. I am currently pursuing my master's in geo exploration from IIT ISM with my minus in artificial intelligence and machine learning in geosciences. So, as we know, I am not here to introduce you to myself, I am here to introduce you to something that you call SQL structured query language. Like we, as a data analyst or a data scientist, why do we need to know SQL? How do we use SQL? To access a database, how do we use SQL query in our Python files? How do we use queries to get back into database? So all these questions will be answered after you have been through the complete playlist. We will be learning how do we populate data from any database using SQL into our Python, where we do any kind of analytics. We are not going to change our programming language, right? For any kind of analytics, we'll be doing it in Python, right? After doing it in Python, how do we populate the data back into any database, right? And at the end of this playlist, you will be competent enough to do a capstone project that will be based on oil and gas industry and have a hands-on experience on it. Talking about what will be the content of this playlist, right? So see, our complete playlist will be covered in six phases. First one will be introduction, where we will learn that why and how do we use SQL. After that, we will be going through the basic queries that we need in SQL and then how these queries will be used in Python. After that, when you have the experience of all the queries that you can run in Python 5, you will learn how to pull the data from database and then the next phase will be pushing the data into the database. So all these five phases will complete your complete knowledge about the SQL queries and its relation with Python. And then in the sixth phase, we'll be doing a small project that will be based on oil and gas based, based industry, but you can use it in any domain. Coming up on the question, what is SQL and why do we need SQL? So as we know, SQL stands for structured query language. It's just a programming language. But why do we need SQL? So yeah. For an example, you as a data analyst or a data scientist, how do you deal with data? In general, you deal with the static data set, right? You have a data set either in CSV file, an NLIS file, or any of the other forms that you need for it, your any kind of analytics, right? But what if the data is not static? It's dynamic. For an example, let me show you. So yeah, this is one example from the table in my database about the oil production, right? As we can see, it is populating the oil that has been produced in last half an hour continuously. It was producing, the, it, it is showing that what was the oil produced between 9.14 to 9.44, like 21.14 hours to 21.44 hours, right? It shows it was 25 TOE ton of oil produced, right? And it gets populated in, data, in this database continuously after every half an hour. Right. So for an example, if your client asks you or if your firm needs that, can you please analyze the data and tell me what was the minimum or the maximum production in any day? What was the average production in the whole day? So see, here you don't have the static data. You have the dynamic data. The data is getting changed every day, like after every half an hour. And then that can affect your analytics, right? So you need to deal with the dynamic data dynamically. So in this case, you will need to learn SQL, structured query language will help you to get the data of your requirement into Python files where you can analyze the data, you can do any kind of analytics on it and then you can push it back to some other table in this. So it may be, it may be a bit difficult right now to understand what I'm I trying to explain you, but for now, just think of it as a dynamic data and you need to do analytics on the dynamic data. And you know, you can't do analytics on dynamic data in from any Excel file or any static data set, right? You need to access the dynamic data dynamically so that you can do any kind of analytics on it. So at the end of this place, you will be able to learn that how do you deal with it and how is it useful for you? And as we know, in today's scenario, you as a data analyst, you need to learn all the, all those skills that will be required to handle any kind of data. So, yeah, SQL will be enhancing your skill and will be enhancing your CV. And that is all what we need. So, yeah, thank you. See you in the next video.